uh, and switching. All right. Hi, everyone. How you doing? It's me, your buddy, your friend, Amigo, your uh, Reverend Paul D. Boyd here. And uh, we changed our uh, lineup a bit. I've uh, registered some software and uh, I got the full registered legitimate version of uh, uh, Minicam. I was using the free version. <clears throat> and I have the uh, full version, the real standard. I'll probably upgrade to studio later on. Uh, if you look to my side here, uh, where's my finger at? Okay, if you look over the this side here, if you see on the top, there's a studio. I have, I'm going to have different monitoring of different things I can. I can also show my other uh, properties and keep an eye on them while I'm talking to you. And uh, we're now sharing fully on Facebook, Twitter, 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 whatever you want to call it, uh, YouTube, and on uh, live on Instagram. I'm also looking at a new feature. I like to have some people that are sponsored this program uh, for as little as, uh, say, $15 a show or more we can negotiate. We can have this, uh, the example ads I made here for Ace Taxi, which is my cab company I own. And that, uh, you can have a banner ad like that, or you can even have a banner ad above here or uh, above on top up here, as it was across, or you can have a, a small advertisement, or I can even mention, or you can have an infomercial before I start my show or after my show, start my, after the show ends. Um, I have no choice but to ask for some help from you people out there. Uh, it's cost me a lot of money and time put this together each uh, program cost it takes me time wise it takes me about four three to four hours to prepare for my uh, 10 minute uh, video uh, so it cost me time and money I had to come up with ideas I had to buy software and things which is not cheap uh, I had to buy cameras I got the best Logitech webcam but I'm going to soon by uh, looking at buying a Canon uh, with a higher resolution so I can bring higher resolution and less delay because I, I, it drives me nuts watching the delay on the, the screen here uh, so basically, um, you can uh, follow me on uh, any of our uh, social media. But to get down to the meat and uh, potatoes of what we're, we're here to talk about, and the meat and potatoes of the of today is going to be uh, what I did today. Uh, and to give you a brief synopsis of what I did today, it was not a bad day at all. Weather-wise, it was uh, it was uh, started with rain, and the rain ended by noon. And then what happened is the uh, it, became, it got really muggy and hot. It got really uh, so they got to uh, it was like 22 degrees, but it felt like uh, 24, 25, and it was really muggy today. But it was a half decent day business-wise. I did six calls. Uh, they were all short runs today, nothing big, nothing off the peninsula. Uh, but I did put made enough money to put gas in my tank. Um, and when I did first thing this morning, I got up. I, I forgot to tell you before I went to work. I um, I actually uh, got up and had my my shower and I shaved a bit. Um, I lied to you. I didn't shave today. Okay, but I I, uh, I had my shower and I. Uh, then I quickly rushed down to the uh, the grads to pay them some money. Um, I uh, I had one of my clients, uh, my business clients that pays for another business I have, uh, gave me a check and uh, for a hundred dollars. So I uh, immediately paid that to the grads because I owe the grads about five hundred. I owe the other other grads three hundred for parts. The the part place. So uh, I immediately gave the hundred dollar check. I uh, signed the back of it and gave it to the mechanic. Uh, who who got my radiator installed and and got my car running a week before when the, when the exhaust was down low and uh, cut my exhaust and, sure, and tightened it up so it wasn't dragging on the ground as much, give me better clearance and uh, adjusted my brake stuff like that. So this guy's always keeping on top, but he's keeping on top of my other vehicle too, uh, getting the e-brake fixed on that stuff. So I want to keep him happy by paying him whatever I get uh, extra cash for a sudden I do or or uh, money that I'm supposed that's owed to me. If I get money from someone that owes me money, I'm gonna pay it to the uh, the mechanics first because they're the ones that keep me my car on the road. So I really appreciate them. I stopped by uh, at the rest at a restaurant. I got takeout. I bought uh, three uh, uh, macaroni and cheese with uh, a gourmet macaroni and cheese with ham, and I dropped them off to my mechanic as well when I gave him the, the hundred dollar check. I uh, also gave him the uh, the food, and he really appreciated it. And I got some cheese buns with that, and I uh, had that as a snack. Uh, today and then I had that for supper tonight. I had the cheese buns with ham, with um, with turkey meat that I had uh, unthawed from the freezer I bought before when it was on sale. I bought a whole bunch of meat at the uh, chops, uh, so I unthawed the turkey meat and turkey meat for supper tonight. Um, but mainly the day went pretty decent. Uh, I can't complain. Uh, it was uh, you know not super busy. It was uh, Friday, not like it used to be, but between six and nine it just died right off like a rock. Uh, so then I stopped into the uh, I stopped into Dollar Store and I picked up some uh, so, um, 
almond milk because I don't drink regular milk anymore. I'm, I'm staying clear of that. I want to save the cows and save the animals, so I'm using uh, drinking almond milk now. Uh, so I picked up some silk almond milk. It was on sale. Well, why well, not sale? But regular price was two dollars or dollar ninety nine. But they, you know, they're trying to make it sound like it's less than two dollars, but it's dollar ninety nine, which is two bucks. Okay. Uh, so what I did after that, I went and I uh, got my soy milk and I picked up some uh, uh, some flower seeds that I'm going to plant uh, later on. Uh, uh, some wildflower seeds uh, and they're annual and pre-annuals and if you know what that means they're ones that grow every year and there's some that grow every second year and some that grow uh, once a year so those are three types of flowers I got their mixed bag of uh, wildflowers uh, and uh, I picked up uh, see I picked up some more uh, some more uh, orange juice and I picked up um, some powder to make Orange juice, when I get low on orange juice, I can always switch to the gross powder, but concentrate, but it's better than nothing. Um, I didn't have a lot of money left over because today a lot of people were paying by uh, the credit card. So it left me without cash. So I went and I filled my tank up as much as I could. I put uh, I put uh, $40 in my tank, and so basically I, and I made 60 the whole day. So I ended up had 20 bucks. I bought a few groceries, and I had like 15 bucks left, which I'm putting away to put gas again tomorrow and do the same old thing again. Um, but uh, as far as it goes, uh, even tonight is pretty mild uh, here. Uh, it was supposed to be really cold tonight and go down to like zero, but uh, uh, it probably is in low-lying areas. But overall, it's uh, it's pretty good. I also picked up uh, some more uh, some other drinks to uh, uh, mix drink mixes, uh, fruit punch and stuff like that. They had them on sale at, uh, for 99 cents for a pack. It does eight liters. So I did that. then I, when I came home, I uh, got my uh, new uh, my new um, Antibacterial spray and uh, disinfectant. That's the word I was looking for, disinfectant. And I had my orange smell disinfectant, Mr. Clean, 99% uh, bacteria. It says I use a higher concentration and they recommend it's one bottle for eight liters. I use one bottle for two liters of uh, water. So it's just higher concentrate, it lasts longer and it's more more effective, I find. And the smell lasts longer for about a week or two. But every day I spray the car down with disinfectant and the knobs and the outside, the inside, uh, all the crevices where the passengers are. I'm lucky. I, I have a, a partition in my vehicle that I uh, made. Well, my, and Mike helped me put it in. Mike, the meter guy, so it keeps the the, the customer sections totally separate from me. I just pass through a little slot the money. So what that does, or or the credit card or whatever, and what payment I say. And what also what does um, the protection keeps me. I don't have to actually disinfect the front cabin because I'm not really interacting with the customers. They're in the back, so I just have their their cabin, the cabin where the passengers are, have that all sprayed down and disinfected. I do it every day to make sure that it's safe and uh, really there's no more uh, no cases and community spread is very low right now and they kind of got isolated also our numbers have stabilized in Nova Scotia we get some more cases in in the Halifax area and uh, in Sydney and right now they've opened up some of our restrictions we're still under lockdown uh, but they're keeping the schools closed in HRM and in Sydney uh, or Cape Breton Regional Municipality to be, to be precise they're keeping the schools closed but they're opening up uh, the schools outside of the uh, HRM and outside of uh, Cape Breton Regional Municipality, and they're also opening uh, programs looking at for people with special needs that have to have uh, hands-on and in classroom. So the, the, the step forward also, uh, they, I guess they're doing they announced a, a four-step um, process in reopening our province, and it's it really doesn't sound very promising, and it's, it's not really good but it is a step forward at least there's some direction that we can look forward to we're actually starting on the 2nd of june which is on wednesday they're giving the virus time from now which is friday slash saturday going into wednesday it gives them about four or five days to get ready for the virus opening but they're not really fully opening they're going to be allowed to have people eat on the patios and people are allowed to have no more than groups of 10 outside and the indoor restrictions are still there and then eventually in the next Two weeks from then, or three weeks, depending on how our cases are, and hopefully more people get that jab in the arm. Which doesn't hurt. Do it. Get the jab in your arm. Okay. Get the get the vaccine, and that's going to help us all across Canada. And we had good news from national wise. Our numbers are down, except for Manitoba, which has a few uh, clusters and things going on there. But hopefully they'll get that under control. Um, to the rest of Canada. But like I said, the main thing is now, po folks out there, to get the vaccine. I can't stress it enough. Over and over again, get the vaccine. Uh, there may be side effects and you just hear on the new, news and on the internet, but make sure that you get the facts checked. And um, so far, like I said, it's uh, been nothing. The first few days I was uh, I had a sore arm, but now it's it's gone. I've, my arms are still magnetic. I still take fridge magnets to my arms or pieces of metal, but the the magnetic 
the magnetism is going down as well, so I don't have a uh, metal sticking to me like I used to click, click on your stick metal spoons and stuff like that. But now the, the virus, antivirus is in my system. And it'll be six days now, yeah, wow. Soon be a week. And then in two weeks' time, uh, I'm going to, uh, we'll be able to know that uh, the vaccines, uh, first shot of the vaccine should take effect. So within, you know, another um, eight, nine days, I should be safe. Uh, and uh, and uh, and should be in full effect in my system. Uh, I still notice a bit of fever once in a while and uh, minor pain, but the pain is almost 99% gone away. I'd say 98% gone away once in a while. I feel it, and uh, still my my system's a little little wacky. But I'm a little bit you uh, know bit uh, my temperature's off. My fever a bit from the, still from the vaccine, and um, my vision's going to come back. My eyes are watering and burning and out of focus for a while, but. My focus has come back really good. My uh, eyes seem to be going back to normal, and my uh, my throat's not so swollen and sore. So the the minor effects of the, the vaccine are a little bit in. I'd say I would call it uh, not bad effects. I'd call it uh, mere, mere uh, inconveniences, or, call it, or a little bit of discomfort. That's the word I'm looking for: discomfort. So that's why I'd say the vaccine is a tiny bit of discomfort. Everyone's body is different, but overall, hopefully, uh, people won't have too much anaphylactic shock or other system. Uh, related to the vaccine, so basically, it's all I can tell you. Out there is, uh, if you want to help make things better, uh, obey uh, public health rules. Don't push it. You know, uh, if they want you to stay, you, the people in HRM, people in uh, CBRM, to stay home, stay close to home. Do it. To stay close to your community. Uh, and so, uh, sooner or later, it's going to be done. It's been four weeks. I know we're getting fatigued. We're getting tired of this lockdown, and we got still a long ways to go yet. It's probably at least the end of summer before things are into the new normal and there's always going to be once in a while cases flare up but as we get more people vaccinated and uh, we get the hot spots controlled and we keep an eye on I think we're going to have a make it through I mean U.S. is coming in leaps and bounds and uh, we're not going to be too far behind them so um, and hopefully with the Atlantic bubble there may be as early as July 1st you said there's rumors that we might even get the Atlantic bubble and that would be so cool because I could visit uh, you know my my friends in the PEI in New Brunswick um, Newfoundland's a bit too far of a hop for me right now, but once I uh, get some uh, finances ahead and stuff, it uh, would probably be half decent to go up to uh, Newfoundland if I get the chance. I'd love to go to that uh, the, the Grosmore National Park and see the mountains and the fjords and all that uh, beauty that Newfoundland has to offer. I was only there once. Uh, I didn't get to the park. I was first Port of Bass, and our, our company uh, unfortunately didn't have the proper documentation. We were sent back to Nova Scotia, so I get to see Newfoundland, touch the surface but actually sent right back on the next ferry which really kind of sucked but that was a few years ago that was like these 25 years I believe time goes so quick it's hard to believe that I can look back in time at 20 and 30 years and uh, like you say they say every seven years you get a new body every probably every 10 years you're a new person altogether your personality things you look back and uh, things you learn so you live you learn you choke you you uh, you know the song uh, from the last more set you live you learn and uh, I'm going to try to keep everything away from copyright because God knows copyright people are getting really strict on that kind of stuff. And uh, it's good if you're a copyright owner, but some things are getting a bit ridiculous. But that's another whole debate. So I thank you all for tuning in tonight. I'd like to encourage each and one of you to be kind to one another. And if uh, you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, please feel free to let me know. We are officially now on Instagram. Uh, we are on Twitter. We are on YouTube. We are on Facebook here live on Facebook and uh, on all the other show, social sharing apps. We're looking at Vimo, um, probably looking at more. But we also, one thing we really need is your help. If you have a small business or uh, even a birthday message you send to someone and you're willing to pay uh, $15 an episode, to help me out. Uh, it's not a lot of money, but that's what I'm asking for. Uh, for my production costs, it takes me time to produce, get the cameras, get all this gear stuff. I've, and uh, I mean, I'm working on those years. I've been doing videos here for almost I've been doing it on YouTube for like 20 over 23 years, and I've been actually working with video and, and computer video and uh, video editing uh, since way back in the old days. We had 8-bit video cards and black and white, and we didn't have color. So uh, most of my life, I'm, I'm 49 years old. When I was 12 years old or 13 years old, I started to get into computer video, which was very primitive back then. As computers were in the 80s, really primitive compared to today. So I have the expertise and knowledge, and I've learned my, myself. I taught this. And I want to be an influencer, and I want to also help other people. If you want, have any questions, you want to start your own video blog, or you want help to make videos for your business, or you want to do a commercial or something like that, just drop me a line, uh, contact me here, and I'll see what I can do for you. That's our time for tonight. 
or today. This is the 28th. Um, this is probably going to be broadcast on 29th because of uh, uh, scheduling and trying to get things together. I got some new software I had to set up. So, um, But um, take care. God bless. Whatever God is, God is you believe in, may they be with you. And may uh, good fortune come to you. And please, let's continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in Israel and uh, in the Palestine and uh, so the Middle Eastern area. Lord Jesus, God Almighty, Son of Jesus, of God, and our God to a man, please help bring peace to the Middle East and to other hot spots around the world. Please help uh, Hamas and other organizations and uh, to uh, that were former terrorist organizations to, to work for peace all around the world in Africa and and uh, South America, all hot spots around the world, and uh, uh, and even you know we look at things going on inside Russia and places like that. Uh, let's pray that Vladimir Putin eventually retires and. Uh, there can be democracy in Russia as well. It's one thing we need to look at. So good night. Take care. And in Lord Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in. And I wish you all the best. And each and every one of you, um, I care. And I'm here for you. So if you have any questions, concerns, uh, you can ask me. Uh, and uh, I also help if you need uh, you know, a little bit of life counseling. So that I do the best I can uh, using a Bible-based uh, system. So uh, take care. God bless. Whatever God is, God believe in. We're, uh, we're out of here. Thank you.